want to see me downgrade to mountain lion? Boom, done. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Test OS. Today we're going to be testing Mac OS 10 version 10.9.5, aka Mac OS 10 Mavericks. This was the last version of OS 10 to have the Aqua UI interface. So let's power up the laptop. I'm going to hold down the Option key. And you'll see five boot options. We have El Capitan, which is my main drive. OS X base system, is, which is what I use to install this. Mavericks, which is the system we're going to be using. And two recovery partitions. One for El Capitan and one for Mavericks. We're going to get boot into the metal option. And you can see we have the Apple logo, like every Macintosh operating system since Jaguar. And this one still has the spinny thing. In the next version, they removed it in favor of the progress bar. And you can see the transition that has been here since Lion. So if I go ahead and enter my password here, it transitions in. Okay, this is backgrounds from the last scene. So. First things first, we gotta change it to the background that was introduced in this system, which is called Wave. And this kind of gives me some Vista vi Windows Vista vibes when I look at it, which is why I, I still so kind of use it sometimes in El Capitan. So this is my desktop. <laughs> I don't have anything installed on here, and this is the About Smack Pane. Now, Lion was the first one to introduce the um, information screen, but you had to click more info for that. In Yosemite, which is the next version still, they automatically just defaulted to this screen. And I'll have a picture of my El Capitan system right here. So you can see my specs here. You gotta zoom in. Focus. CC says MacBook, 13 inch aluminum, late 2008. I'm upgrading this. Processor, 2 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, 8 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce 9400M. This is my serial number. Oh, I don't think. Why do people censor that out? I just don't know. <laughs> if you want even, these are uh, four four different options for other, other detailed specs. And now we have two options here: system report or software updates. System report basically just goes to the system profiler from forever ago. Let's see, MacBook, MacBook five five one, Intel Core two da 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 da. da, da the stuff that's existed since forever. Probably since Mac OS 7, I think. Alright, so this is the part of the show where we review all of the applications on the system. Now, I've put all of them in the dock here, so we're going to go through all of them. Finder, just look for files. Just click for files. Launchpad basically just another version of the applications folder that actually looks through your entire hard drive and if it's not in here then you have to dig through your hard drive to find stuff. Mission Control just switching between desktops because that's a thing you can do. App Store basically the iOS App Store but with Mac apps in it. 
This is also where the uh, they also integrated software update in here. So there's that. Mail. I'm not signed in right now. Safari, your basic web browser. FaceTime. It's me. Contacts. Just boring contact. Just contacts. Calendar. Just calendar. See, kind of see the pattern here. How the uh, app names are pretty self-explanatory as to what they are. Notes. Just notes. Huh, when does this actually speak it? <laughs> HX SOJC There. That works. Reminders. Just apps and apps to remind you for stuff that I've never gotten it to work. Maps, which can pinpoint your location and track you down. I think. iTunes, where you can store all of your copyrighted music and movies. And, I, and ringtones and all that and all that fun stuff. iBooks. They still have that in iOS. The reading experience you love now for Mac. Get started. Ooh, let's try that. <laughs> Close. Also, I'm disappointed by this app because it doesn't just give me free iBooks. It doesn't just rain iBooks from the sky. Get it? iBook? Like, the computer iBook? Apple iBook? Let's try... Search the web for Apple iBook. Where's it trying to search for Google? The Apple iBook. See that? That that's what I was that's what I was talking about. The iBook computer. Yeah. The iBook is only a lot of laptop computers designed, manufactured, and sold by Apple Inc. Too, from 1999 to 2006. Yeah. Very self explanatory. That's why this application disappoints me. Photo booth. Just the camera again. Although we've discovered. I've discovered this is the full screen application now. So we're gonna quit out of that. System preferences. Which basically what they updated in here was they just added new icons. That's basically it. Calculator. I'm pretty sure nobody here gets the context of that joke. It's it's just it's just a calculator. Zero um, divided by zero equals not a number. In fact, I have a theory on this. I think that if you do zero divided by zero, you die. Which is why the calculator can't do it, because if it did, then the, then the whole computer would just explode and we all die. Dictionary. It's where you can look up words and stuff. Like, 
let's try. Let's try computer. Now, an electronic device for storing and processing data typically in binary form, according to instructions given to it in a variable program. A person who makes calculations, ESP with a calculator machine. That made absolutely no sense. Remember computer history from this day on Superstar 64 live streams? Yeah. Kind of like that. DVD player. Just for watching all your DVDs. Moving on. Font book. Do we need this? I don't I don't see why we need a font book. It just shows you all the different fonts you can use on your computer. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. Pretty boring. Moving on. Game center. Which apparently takes forever to load. It kind of has the theme of a, con of a casino. Image capture. No camera or scanner connected. What? Yeah, I probably just connected my camera. Messages, which I don't want to open, but it's basically text messaging on your Mac. Preview, which is for photo viewing and stuff. If it'll actually load. Seems like all these applications are taking forever to load. Yeah. Okay. Stickies, which is an application that was ported over from Mac OS 9. That. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was first ported over in, um, two, apparently in 2003. Well, in uh, Panther, I'm assuming. Hold on. Um, shoot, can do that. I don't know how to use that. Text edit. Which is just basically just a word process. What? Why is everything. Yeah, make a new document. Let's do that. It's basically just typing some stuff. And it also has a speaking feature. The emoji movie sucks. No, I have not seen that movie. If you in case you're wondering. Delete. And time machine. Okay, it's a backup program, but I was about, but if it was good, it's just going to take forever to load. I was going to make a joke about, which can take you back to the year 1985. And that might be all the applications that I have in the dock here. But that's not the end of everything, because we still have the utilities to go through. Activity Monitor. Which is Mac OS Task Manager, basically. Airport utility, which is just Wi Fi. Apple script editor, which is something I don't know how to use. Audio MIDI setup, which yeah, okay, really, all you really need is utilities folder for is if you're an actual tech, se tech expert. Except for this one, Boot Camp Assistant, which, yeah, it's for installing Windows on your computer. And, and Migration Assistant, which transfers stuff. Or Disk Utility, which actually made this video possible. 
It's also on the uh, Mac OS install screen, I think. And yeah, it just saw system information, which brings up that pane. You know, this one. It used to be called System Profiler before everything got simplified. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Mavericks. So, now it's the part of the show that we're going to be doing from now on, the rating. And I haven't noticed much new features in this operating system from the last one, or even Lion. But it's still a pretty good operating system. I especially like the background. So with that, I give this operating system a 7 out of 10. For simplicity and actually working, unlike El Capitan over here, because it barely works. It barely works since they have installed it. But it doesn't really have many new features to it, and to be honest, the only, I'm pretty sure the only reason it exists is because the uh, 23rd is because Retina displays were becoming a standard on Mac. I guess. I don't know. Let's do some research. But that's the end. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Test OS. And vote Mesh Brawl if you want me to change it to Let's Test.